Part of this not showing partiality among fellow believers includes not avoiding those with messy lives. Too many times I've seen that. Churches promote, oh, this is a safe place to be real. And then you're real. And the response is, oh, I didn't, I didn't know you were going to be that real. And then they back away. No, real is real. And there are two reasons primarily that I've seen why church leaders avoid people with so-called messy lives. First is they can't be bothered. It's just too much work. It's a rat's nest of all dysfunction, and I can't unravel this. So that's one reason. But the other reason is I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to begin. When you think about the path that many pastors take, they get to the point of being a pastor of a church without any external world experience. They don't know firsthand what it means for many of the things that they will face in ministry. So they don't even know how to handle, how to process, how to help somebody.